students really enjoy these simple simulations that I've designed for them. But I think I'm ready to take it to the next level with a complex simulation for this upcoming unit. Hmm. Instead of lecturing my students, I'll allow the simulation to become the main mode of instruction. This activity will take place over several days. That way, they can completely immerse themselves in the experience and gain a rich understanding of the content. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Now that we've all been grouped in our countries and assigned our roles, let's get started on the objective for today. There has been an oil spill in Feltland. The Prime Minister has declared... My complex simulation will allow space for many different learning styles in my classroom. Reading, writing, speaking, listening, and movement will all be involved. I'm going to touch on as much content as I can while keeping learning goals clear. Complex simulations are flexible by nature, so I'll make sure to check in with my students and myself about modifying procedures as needed. All right, class. I can see that you have lots of ideas and strong opinions. That's awesome. From now on, we're going to proceed in discussion teams of two so that you can hear each other's ideas. I'll make sure to set time limits and keep everyone on track. At the end of the activity, we will have a whole class discussion. This way, I can easily gauge what my students have learned. Time's up, everyone. With the last 10 minutes of class, I'd like to discuss your solution to the problem presented to you today. Puppetopia has decided to assist Feltlands with the oil spill by providing them with one of the crops we cultivate, mushrooms. They can help to clean the ocean during spills. <laughs> yeah, and the Googly Isle scientists are gonna help implement this new technology. That's so innovative. I hadn't even thought of that possibility. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. We will continue negotiations tomorrow with our next objective. What's great about complex simulations is that they allow for spontaneous learning to occur. My students will be able to find creative solutions to real world problems, which will be so empowering. Not only will solving problems expand their knowledge of this unit, but it will help them to become better advocates, consumers of media, and world citizens. All right, my students are gonna love this. I'll make sure to have everything organized before we start the simulation so that it can run as smoothly as possible. I can't wait to see what they'll learn from this and what I will learn from them. 